What is going on YouTube? It is your boy, Lord Master Boss, and this here with another awesome video. So in today's video, guys, I want to let you know that NXT Stand and Deliver was last night. Holy shit, the show just flew by, and I mean flew by. But anyways, guys, just we're going to get right into it. Thankfully, Tyler Bate got the win for Chase University, teaming with Thea Hill, Duke Hudson, and Andre Chase to defeat Schism in an eight-person mixed tag team match, and the winners, which were Chase U, got control of Chase University. In the biggest shocker for me, Indy Hartwell defeated Roxanne Perez, Zoe Stark, Gigi Dawn, Lyra Valkyria, and Tiffany Stratton in a six-woman ladder match to become the new NXT Women's Champion. Gallus defeated the family and the Creed brothers in a triple threat tag team match to retain the NXT championship. Wesley defeated Axiom, Dragon Lee, Ilya Dragunov, and JD McDonough in a fatal five way match for the NXT North American Championship to retain, which I was very surprised by. Johnny Gargano thankfully defeated Grayson Waller in an unsanctioned match, and then afterwards the way reunited. It was just it was a cool moment. Alba Fire and Isla Dawn defeated Fallon Henley and Keanu James to become the new NXT Women's Tag Team Championship champions, very deserved. And finally, thankfully, Carmelo Hayes defeated Braun Breaker to become the new NXT champion. Now, in my opinion, since Braun lost, he's going to debut on the Raw or SmackDown after WrestleMania. So, we'll see. But anyways, guys, those are all my uh, thoughts on NXT Stand and Deliver. Let me know yours in the comments. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Smash the like button. Please subscribe, follow me on all my social medias. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.